Objective 8.3, explain how alveoli are adapted for gas exchange by diffusion between the air in the lungs and the blood in the capillaries. So the lungs are highly adapted organs that allow mammals to exchange gases between the environment and their blood. Here's the basic structures in the thorax. You've got the trachea, the windpipe, which leads into those two lungs. As you move down that trachea, it splits into two tubes called the bronchi. These split into smaller tubes called the bronchioles. And finally, those end at the alveoli, which is where the gaseous exchange is gonna happen in those little air sacs. You've also got things like the diaphragm and the intercostal muscles, which are gonna help with ventilation, which is the word we use for breathing. Now more about these alveoli. The lungs actually contain about 700 million tiny little air sacs called alveoli, and they're surrounded by a network of blood capillaries. And gases diffuse into and out of the blood based on the concentration gradients. The oxygenated blood can then travel back to the heart to be then pumped around the body to provide that oxygen to all the respiring cells. Here is the structure, a cross section of just one alveolus to show you how the blood capillaries are surrounding this little um, air sac. The blood capillaries carry in deoxygenated blood and the carbon dioxide then diffuses out of the blood into the alveoli to then be exhaled. And at the same time, oxygen diffuses from a high concentration in the alveoli into the blood cells to oxygenate the blood to be carried off around the body. The alveoli are very well adapted for this efficient gas exchange. They have a large surface area for diffusion. They are moist, which helps dissolve gases and increase diffusion rate. They've also got this really rich blood supply to maintain this steep diffusion gradient between the alveoli and the blood. And due to, the, and due to both the alveoli and the capillary only having walls one cell thick, there is a short diffusion distance between the air and the blood, which increases this diffusion rate and the walls are also permeable. So they're highly adapted for efficient gas exchange.